We were told, stay away from Michael Cassaro. Remember Michael Jordan? Everybody wants to be like Mike. Well, this was another Mike. Everybody wanted to be like Mike. Life in Red Hook during the 50s, it was a, it was a rough neighborhood. And somebody took out a knife and tried to stab him. He did give me this idea that fencing had saved his life. I had to fence Mike. He killed me. He hit me from what seemed to me a mile away. I don't know how he did all these weapons. Michael looked like the book said you ought to look. Not too many people can say that they beat Jerzy Pavlovsky. They beat Pavlovsky. And they were yelling, Da Saro! Da Saro! When he decided to make that hit, there was nothing stopping it. They wouldn't take me on a team because my hair was too long. He was challenged by the uh, American Olympic icon, Avery Brendan, to uh, either cut his hair or not be on the Olympic team. He liked to drop out. He took acid every day for a year and ate brown rice. Okay, at San Francisco in 67, of course you have a hippie fencing master. You can only get strong in fencing in California if you work with Michael DeSaro. Like, just so focused on you. He is brutal. Kind of the scum of the fencing world. It all seemed to respond to him in a way that uh, allowed him to bring out the very best in them. You can always tell a pretty good coach when there's a certain consistency. He had fencers on every Olympic team from 76 to 88. I miss him. He was the new version of a fencing coach, and that was a stroke. Stay away from Michael Cassaro.